Good evening and welcome to Amy Park. After three weeks on the road, the Melbourne Rebels are back at home. They outplayed the Reds last week to reclaim top spot on the Australasian Conference table. The Sunwolves showed what they are capable of last week, upsetting the Waratahs in Newcastle, and they hope to go back to back for the first time in 2019. Again, picked up by Nicerani. Genia, a short ball. Corabetti pulled down a couple out. Philip driving behind him, but he goes to ground. Genia, a wide ball out to Hodge, and over he goes. Relentless pressure. And they're over for the first try, and it is Roos Hodge charging onto a beautiful ball from Will Genia. Marika Corabetti off the set piece, went straight at Hart, Hayden Parker. And then they could quickly get some momentum on the right side. Will Genia, he's got one, two, three options there. And picks the Reese Hodge, a good little angle. So Quade Cooper cut out pass. English straight to him, goes straight through. And he's got Hodge on the left, and Hodge has got a double. Reese Hodge. Oh. Wonderful backline move by the Rebels. Well, you've got to watch the work from Tom English. He just goes on the outside of the pass. He drifts on the pass from Quade Cooper. Keeps the ball in two hands at the start. Looks inside of Billy Meeks. I thought he'd blown it. And then Reese Hodge. Quickly to Reese Hodge. Second try for Reese Hodge in the match. Get it. Cooper on the toe for Meeks to chase. And it's a real mess back there, and it's a gift five points for the chaser, Billy Meeks. Quade Cooper plays his flat line attack, Corabetti on the inside, Billy Meeks knew exactly what was on, should have been covered by Shinigo, and then it sits up for Billy Meeks. Shigano, wide ball, plan move, Parker uh, to Mazzarella, ah, he's in in the corner. Three last week, one so far tonight. Samisi Masarewa. One on one, too good for Maddox Masarewa. Lesson learned for Jack Maddox for next time. He's got to have his man one on one into touch and use the sideline. Great finishing there from Masarewa. Brings the Sunwolves back in within striking distance. Inside ball from Beach to Genia. And Hodge! Research! Hasn't got three, but he's got a try assist, and Craig Cooper gets the five-pointer. What's the work? Billy Meeks just gets a really good little offload away. Will Genia waits, waits, waits the right time. Hodge back to Quade Cooper. Had his birthday yesterday and gets a try under the post for the Rebels just before halftime. Hodge has two. Meeks one. Cooper one. 28 to 8. Oh, I don't think there was any ever, any risk of us being complacent here. I mean, I think uh, I think first of all they're they're a good side, they're well coached, and uh, and they've got a real purpose now. You know, being cut from Super Rugby and having been in that situation myself, um, it's a pretty galvanising thing. So. And Mazarewa, he has got a double. Well, talking about giving them an opportunity, and the Sun Wolves are in. Samusi Mazarewa, his second try. He's got five tries in two matches. And they got some width in their play, finally. Hayden Parker getting some width out the back. Some space. Pry did really well to straighten the attack up. Charge down. And Hodge has got a hat-trick. That's a pretty ordinary kick from... Josh Timu, unfortunately, and went straight to Reese Hodgson. Yeah, with me. And Genia! Will Genia! Will it be another magical moment for the scrum half? You better believe it. Watch this, 45 metres out. Look for a short ball for a Tupo, and then went straight through. Samisi Mazarawa coming across, but. Will Genia, too much pace next to the post. And so that is full time at AB Park.
And the Melbourne Rebels extend their lead on top of the Australasian Conference. They led by 28 to 8 at half time, scoring four tries to one in the first half. They scored two tries to one in the second half. And they've won it by 42 points to 15.